All right, so one knee facing you. I don't care which knee. And then the other foot's gonna go up like this. Okay, so I'm going down that way. Okay. okay. So we want to keep this foot kind of close to here because okay. what we're going to do is check ankle mobility, not hip mobility. Okay. If you get to put it out too far, people get tight in the hips and okay. we're not checking the right thing. So now I just want you to drive your knee straight over your toe, but we got to keep that heel, heel down. Around. So okay. we're just we're just going as far as your body will let you. So that's about it. Come on back. Mm -hmm. You're getting me really too competitive in this. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I can go further. <laughs> All right. About right there. Back up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the club, see how far that knee can go over your toe. And not real far. If we go a little bit further, it'll start that heel starts to come up. Okay. I can Ideally, feel the mm -hmm. we would like a fist length from that knee to be able to go here. So some loss of ankle mobility there. Mm -hmm. Let's check the other side. This is so funny. Now I torn a ligament in the was, left one. Okay, then we'll see how this one compares. Any ankle injuries on the right side? Um, bad sprains, but nothing nothing yeah. crazy. Well, that affects it. Yep. Ankle sprains? Yep. For sure. Okay. A lot of basketball. All right, and now we're gonna do the same thing here. And that's about it. Okay. It's the same thing. We're just gonna put the club there and see where you're at. Okay. And then we're looking for symmetry too, you know, right. like is one way different than the other. Okay. Um, obviously both of them are quite tight, yep. so that's going to limit a squat big time. Wow, and I can, I can feel it. So, go ahead and stand this up. This is so funny. <laughs> if... These are things that I, I feel co I'm compensating in my golf swing for some of this. So... I see it in my um, videos. Interestingly, I mean, we think golf swing, like, who cares if my ankles are tight? They have found that if you don't have the correct mobility in your ankle, mm -hmm. that you'll come up out of posture easier. Makes sense. And it limits the ability, too, to go into full pronation, full supination. Right. And obviously, as you go through the swing, we need all that mo mobility if possible. Mm -hmm. And when we're limited here, it also limits that other motion. Okay. So let's give you a little artificial heel lift here a minute. So I okay. your heels on there and your toes on the ground. And this isn't very much so we might need a little bit more for you but now go ahead and try to squat with my hands here yeah okay i'm too low too close though but yeah i can i can already feel it you go further let's do like this okay because it'll show you yeah. a little closer okay. i moved them out a little wider than what they were yeah so same thing right here okay like I got more range of motion. So, way better range of motion, but the other thing you're not doing, until you get to there, you're at your barriers there, mm -hmm. your ankles. The things that you do, so now step off of it and try okay. to do it. And okay. the way your body compensates, it's funny because it wants to keep getting lower, you know, you're trying to get past 90. So, yep. so what has to happen is your feet have to flare and your knees have to go in. Yep. And yep. that's a ton of bad stress on everything. And so it's not that you're not strong enough to do it. Mm -hmm. You don't have the ankle mobility, so then your body has to cheat through it. Right, that makes so sense. Then if we, if you did squats for a stability or a strength exercise, mm -hmm. if you're in the gym and you have like the big bumper plates, you know, for um, as you're lifting, right. you just slide those behind your heels, okay. or under your heels. As you're doing squats, then you're gonna squat in the correct position and okay. train your body right. Okay. Instead of going too low and compensating. Okay. That makes sense. Or the other thing you do is drive forward instead of driving back. So now if you try a squat and really kind of reach back with your butt, that's gonna be a lot easier for you mm -hmm. because you're not gonna use as much ankle mobility but you're right. in your glutes. Right. So really focus on yeah, like sitting in a chair but finding that balance. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Huh. Ah. Now, this Which is funny, because these are golf swing related things that I'm I'm picking up on with what we're talking about. Well, that's good, because um, it's in the golf sc screen for a reason. Correct. <laughs> and, and these are all, for instance, one of my yeah. big flaws is the fact that my, my body wants to raise up at impact, and I struggle with coming either up or moving that way and really struggling to get these hips just to rotate and to stay here, right? To, to make sure that I'm allowing that lever system to work through the ball. 
So that makes a lot of sense. If you had a tennis shoe on that had a, a big heel left, it would be easier. But your golf shoe tends to be, you know, a little flat right. or less, less, yep. you know, cheap through your your. That ankle. makes sense. But that's one reason why we have you take your shoes off for this. Can't cheat. Okay. Um, next one. No cheating with Robin. <laughs> Have to be very picky. I otherwise, like. I like otherwise that. Otherwise, you miss things. <laughs> it doesn't work right. It makes sense. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to go feet pretty close together. Okay. Knees completely straight. And again, mm -hmm. don't get competitive with it. I won't. <laughs> Just go as far as you can with your knees straight. Okay. Try not to bend those knees. Okay. That one's easy for you. Yeah, that one's I'm super flexible. Like Which always. I didn't understand that because if I'm having back stress or back yeah. stiffness, how am I able to? So most people think they need to keep stretching forward, keep stretching their hamstrings and mm -hmm. typically it's the opposite. That we okay. So much forward or we sit so long and have a rounded posture that we actually need to potentially, now not necessarily for you, but sometimes yeah. I need to stretch backwards okay. or it's truly just a stability thing where Mm -hmm. You're so flexible in a certain way, you may kind of hang out in this this position where you kind of dump forward yep. like this mm -hmm. and just put too much stress on it. So it's more about getting into a different position with your core okay. and engaging things a little bit better. Okay. Um, okay, so that one's easy for you. If you didn't pass that test, then we would separate out and see if it's, it's one symmetrical way. one okay. versus the other. But okay. That is easy. All right, so the next one we're going to do is looking at shoulders mm -hmm. let's first go um, into your setup posture again okay. actually let me do it this a different way I'm gonna have you stand straight first okay. okay take your arm and go into a 90 degree position here good mm -hmm. and then I just want you to rotate it up all right so I'm just seeing how much mobility you have here we would like to see at least um, the angle of your trunk, if not a little bit further. Okay. And then now, go ahead and hold on to the club, get into your posture, golf posture there. Okay. And then now let's take this arm away, go back into that position, oh. and go ahead and rotate up. Okay. And so we're, what we're looking for here is just seeing if you have the same mobility that you had when you're in standing. Okay. A lot of times what happens with people, and, and you do a really nice job of this, but oftentimes what we'll see is as soon as somebody gets into golf posture, mm -hmm. all of a sudden their mobility is like here. Okay. They just can't get it back. And they already showed me that they have really good mobility, mobility. Right? right? So now I know that it's scapular stability that's limiting them. Okay. If they're already kind of limited, once again, golf posture, I wouldn't expect that it Being would be different. better. Correct. So, you know, you're, right. again, we're kind of differentiating what's going on with that. Okay. Okay, so now let's compare on your other side. So first stand all the way up <laughs> and then go 90 degrees here and then go ahead and flip back. Good. So if you couldn't get at least to trunk angle there, you know, I'd be giving some flexibility exercises right. for that, but that's good. Okay. All right. And then now go ahead and come back down. Let's take this arm away again, and then go ahead and flip back. Good. So that's a great test on both sides. Okay. So it's not, go ahead and relax. Okay. Not a scapular stability issue. Not to say that we wouldn't incorporate some of right. that into your plan just because we need good, that's kind of core stability for your shoulder, right. you know, to be right. able to come off that, but it's more about your core, we kind of, as I go through all this, I mm -hmm. put things in hierarchy of what do I see is the right. biggest thing that we need to work on yep. that's going to affect you the most and then kind of the littler things. This is this is how I teach, Robin. This is this is a very, very interesting, <laughs> which I don't, I, my style came from my mother as an, as an educator, so good. This is awesome. All right. So now we're going to test balance. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to do is put one leg up to about a 90 degree position. Okay. Get your balance first and then we're going to go eyes closed. Oh, okay. Time you. Okay. Oh, okay. Start over. <laughs> the competitive part came in. I had to know what I was doing first. Okay. So foot in the air and then close my eyes. Yep. So get okay. your balance first and then okay. we're going balance. to eyes closed. If you make it to 25 seconds, I'll stop you. If you don't, we'll just this has, How high does it? 90 degrees or? So go ahead and get there first. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is going to be hard. Ooh. All right. And then close your eyes. Ooh.
Oh, that's it. All right. I could do better if I got competitive, but. 15 seconds, all right. That felt bad. Okay. Let's go other leg. I'm losing it. Okay. 